Laura from Quick Scrub Craft. Welcome back to the channel. I kind of jumped right into this process video um, after I'd already kind of started doing it because I forgot to hit record. Um, but yes, this is a scrapbook process video. And real quick, as you can see, I had washi tape on the back because I actually cut two pieces of pattern paper in half. So I had six by 12 and six by 12. And then I washi taped them together to create um, a full 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. And that is a technique that I have learned from Chamel. She does things like that quite often. Um, so yeah, this is um, a scrap lift of something from um, the summer scrapbook and cards today magazine, which I think I, well, I did. I, I don't think I did. I saw it right there a couple seconds ago. Um, so you saw that I was trying to figure out um, the placement of my photos based on um, what that original layout was. And this is also a challenge for the studio challenges. They have a challenge, um, or they had a challenge. I guess it's closed now, but don't worry. I did get my entry in in time. Um, this was a challenge that they had called Looking Back. Um, and they do a variety of different challenges every month. So if you miss one, you know, no big deal. Like every, I think every week or something, there's a new challenge every other week. Um, but this one was called Looking Back. And so I took it and decided that I was going to um, do a layout about the back of our hair. Obviously during uh, the coronavirus quarantine and still to this day, uh, I we did not get our hair cut. Um, I think it's been almost, the last time I got my hair cut was the beginning of March 2019. No, March 2020. <laughs> I don't know what you're at. Um, so I, I wanted to take a picture uh, of how long our hair had gotten. That, that picture was taken in like the end of July, I think. And then come August, I was like, you know what? We've got to, we've got to trim this ourselves. So the top picture is how long our hair had gotten. And then the bottom picture is me, um, getting ready to cut my daughter's hair. And then I also cut my own hair as well. I've done my own hair three times. Um, I can't say that it looks amazing because it doesn't, there's like no style. I just cut it, did like a blunt cut. So um, it's not the greatest look for me, but um, I guess it's a little bit safer than spending an hour inside of the Ulta salon where a bunch of other people are like milling about shopping um, and hopefully wearing masks. I don't know. Anywho, um, so I did, I had a little bit of a struggle <laughs> with some of the, the elements on this because uh, when I was trying to back the papers, um, I was using a piece of cardstock a very thin piece of cardstock and the one side had a pattern on it but the other side was just white so I was just using up some of that scraps to um, back my photos and of course um, the the um, the paper cutter snagged on the white piece of paper and kind of screwed screwed things up for me so I had to peel off my photo and then find another place to stick it and there is still like a little bit of torn paper at the very very bottom of that photo, that bottom photo, um, but you can't tell. So it's it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I was like, ugh, so frustrated. Um, so now I'm creating my title. And again, this is sort of based on um, the that layout from Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. They had the two photos. Their photos were vertical. I did this with horizontal photos. And I thought about flipping everything um, and having, instead of having the pattern papers be horizontal on top of each other. I thought about flipping it and having vertical, um, the pattern papers be vertical, but then I was like, ah, I don't really, I didn't really like that. Um, so I just kept the pa the pattern papers in the same way. And, um, I decided I would just use horizontal photos. I didn't have vertical photos, no big deal. Um, but the, the title in the original layout did go underneath the photo. So that's what I'm doing there with a, a mixture of three different kinds of um, alphas. There's some mini alpha stickers. I don't know who makes them, but I've had them in my stash for so long. Um, and then two types of American Crafts thickers. And I think the brown ones, I think I got them at Walmart a long time ago. Um, and that was actually the second time that I've had that style. Um, but I've had them for a really long time. So now I'm just trying to piece together the embellishments. The original layout had three big flowers um, next to the title. I didn't have anything that was three of the same kind. So um, because I'm using Simple Stories I Am pattern paper, I went through the I Am ephemera and chipboard embellishments that I had purchased a while ago in my stash. And I'm just trying to find ones that might fit this um, the theme of this layout. So I put a house there because we were at home. 
the little thing with the flowers and the words says, you go girl, or you got this girl. So I figured, you know, that was kind of, that was kind of fitting because, um, yeah, I did got this. I had to cut her own hair and I did it and it worked out fine. Um, and up there at the top, I'm going to put an Ellie Studio chipboard banner, which I can't remember what it says, nor can I read it. Um, but it's gray and I'm just, I'm kind of keeping the whole sheet up there just as a, as a placeholder as I search through some Amy Tangerine late afternoon stuff. She's got some flowers as well in that collection um, that, you know, it's a fall collection, but it could go either way. It could go either way. Um, and I'm pulling a branding strip from the Simple Stories I Am to go up at the top. So I, I want to create like a very small little cluster um, up at the top there in the top, what is that, right hand corner. Um, that's where my little banner is going to go. And then I'm like, maybe I should put you know, I don't know, some flowers or something. I'm just trying to see if I had any other of the Simple Stories I Am flowers, just for some, um, oh, just for so everything has the same flow that I'm, I'm not, I mean, I like to mix collections, but I kind of didn't want to have a bunch of different types of flowers on this layout. Um, I have a big chipboard flower from the I Am collection down there at the bottom. That's the third element uh, that's going on there. And I just felt like, those match the pet the flower pattern paper um and maybe the amy tangerine stuff really didn't match as well and i just didn't want it to be um i didn't want that to be super noticeable so i've just got to get everything kind of put down and i'm sure the chipboard things i'm gonna to have to actually glue down or add glue dots too because they never stick they never stick i don't understand it Ugh. but anyway scrapbooking problems, right? Hashtag scrapbook problems, first world scrapbook problems. Um, so I've got to clip off, I've got to cut off that little end piece there. I didn't want the whole branching strip to go up there, um, just a little bit of it. And now I'm going to make sure that the Ellie Studio chipboard piece is going to um, be placed right on top of that sort of hanging flower basket. That's kind of a weird embellishment. Um, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't have I actually don't have plants in my house. Uh, I don't have hanging baskets. That to me, is, it just reminds me of like the 80s because my mom had hanging baskets in the 80s. Um, so I don't know. I, I ended up putting it on here just because it was flowers. And I'm like, when, where else am I going to use this? It's I'm not going to use this anywhere else. So I'm glad that I got some use out of it. Um, now I'm going to cut a Pretty Little Studios journaling tag, journaling spot. And this I got from Paper Issues. This was like, it was a fall collection, but it, it, there's nothing inherently fall about these journaling spots. Um, they came in all different border colors, so you can mix and match them with whatever. Um, that one was gray, so you know, it's a very nice neutral for this. Um, and there were two stickers in the Amy Tangerine that were kind of the same color, sort of like a pinky color and a, um, a a golden color and they both said beautiful and I thought those would be really nice because we're talking about getting our hair cut and and uh and you know being our at-home beauticians so I thought that was pretty fitting I wish there had been three of them because I would have liked to do them in threes but they're just were not so no big deal um, let's see, what else am I going to do? I have a little gold foil camera down there at the bottom. That's, I'm going to create like a little embellishment cluster around the journaling spot. Um, and I, something that I did because I always forget the back of my photos usually has the date that the photos were taken on them. Sometimes I find some discrepancies with the actual dates. Um, but for the most part, they are correct. So I have a, on my desk, what year, the white part of my desk, that's actually not my desk. That is poster board that I stuck down because my desk, uh, if you go back through some of my old process videos, my desk is actually glass, so it's see-through. Um, so this poster board is actually really handy because I can get messy on it and I don't really care. Um, and I also write down the dates of the photos. So as I'm creating, I'm like, oh, I wrote this down over here, what's that date? And then I can put it in my journaling spot um, as opposed to, and that's if I remember to write it down, which um, I'm trying to be better about. But that's opposed to me, as opposed to me like going back, pulling out a, um, my planner and being like, oh, what was this date? What was this? Trying to figure it out. I just look at the back of the photo and I write it down real quick on the poster board so that it's right there. Um, so I've got some some hearts from Amy Tangerine that are kind of like the same pinky color and I like them so much 
and I end up not liking the Ellie Studio heart that I put there. So I'm just kind of rearranging a little bit of things here because, um, again, I want stuff to be, you know, the Ellie Studio heart was really cute, but it was a navy blue and it, it didn't really fit with the color scheme of this. Um, so that's why I moved it and added a few other small Amy Tangerine hearts. Now I'm also using some Nouveau Drops, that's Peachy Keen. It's a really nice color. Um, again, kind of fits in with the color scheme of these papers. Just a word of advice, take your paper that has the Nouveau Drops somewhere else to dry or you will smudge it accidentally as I did. Hopefully you can't tell in the close-ups, um, but I also hope that this was a, an inspiring video for you, so give it a thumbs up, like, and click subscribe for more scrapbook process videos. Thanks for watching, bye.